He's the founder and director of the nonprofit called Hope Invasion, providing food and shelter to immigrant families. Elias, good to have you. All right, so when you look at this latest incident, a man driving into a crowd of people that happen to be migrants, mostly at a bus stop right outside a migrant shelter, it doesn't look good. How are people there reacting to this? Well, personally, in having and working with different uh, migrants, immigrants uh, in, in Mexico and the United States, it's been a very, very hard issue just because of, of uh, the fear that it creates in them as they are coming into the United States. Will we be accepted? Will we be embraced? Uh, will those that uh, see us um, harm us in any way? So that has been part of what we had to work with them and to reassure them that even though there are political different ways of seeing the situation of the immigrants, there is a group of people that we are willing to be a helping hand, to be a place of refuge, to be a place where they are able to find security in the midst of all the uncertainty. And for those of our viewers who don't know, tell us how we're going to see the rules change on Thursday. What does that mean for migrants who do make it to the United States? Well, more than anything else, uh, the rule that is going to change uh, this coming Thursday has to do more with how is it that um, the uh, immigration is going to react for people coming into the United States. Before, uh, because of the law that had been instituted, if they would come in because of COVID restrictions, they could immediately be deported and uh, they could then be sent to the country, uh, the last country where they had uh, tried to come in into the United States. Right. Now, what is happening is they're able to then come in and, uh, but also we are now seeing a, an issue of many troops coming into the border, trying to stop the situation of so many migrants coming. Thousands are on the streets in El Paso, Texas. Hundreds are arriving to the different um, uh, just uh, places that are housing them. It is a dire situation. And I think that people are going to continue to come. We would want it to, to maybe uh, be different, but as people see the opportunity to come into the United States, I think they're going to try with all that they have. They've come more than 4,000 miles walking on trains on whatever means they have been able to, to be able to find the hope of coming to the United States of America. Yeah, and of course there is the worry that people there that don't agree with that will resort to violence. All right, Elias, really good to talk to you. Thanks a lot for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Have a great evening. Thank you so much for the opportunity.